we're going to find the derivative of y equals sine squared of square root of x. So we have basically a double chain rule here. And I think one way of seeing that a little bit easier is we'll rewrite it as sine of square root of x, the quantity squared. So that's what that square there means. And now we can see, okay. We have an inside function of sine of square root of x, an outside function that's a power function. So we can go through our power rule, just pull the power up front, leave the inside alone, and decrease the power by one. And now we're gonna to have to take the derivative of the inside, which is sine of square root of x, which will also require a chain rule. So we have two, this part's done, sine of square root of x to the first. We don't need to write the one. Now we're going to do this via chain rule. Outside function sine, inside is radical x. Der derivative of sine is cosine. Leave the inside alone. And now times the derivative of the inside, which is square root of x. Now as a reminder, Square root of x as a power function is x to the one half, so we can run that through our power rule when we take its derivative. So 2 times sine of square root of x times cosine of square root of x. Those parts are done. This is the part we still need to take the derivative of. Our power rule, pull the power down in front, so times one half, x to the minus one half, decrease the power by one. Now this 2 is in a denominator, and using that negative on the exponent, we can put this x to the 1 half in a denominator. So what are we going to have? We're going to have 2 sine of square root of x, cosine of square root of x in the numerator. And then in the denominator, actually, we can cancel those 2s out. So let's go ahead and do that. And we don't even we have a little bit more simplified answer. And then we have the x to the one half now in the denominator, get rid of the negative, and x to the one half is square root of x. And there is our derivative.